Today I'm going to be going for all of the achievements in Batman Arkham Knight. I currently have 75 achievements and the total amount is 113. And also for your information, everything here was being streamed on my Twitch channel, so please, if you haven't already, make sure to check that out because every time I do achievement hunting in any game, I'm always live on Twitch. So after this video is over, maybe check it out, link in the description below. Anyways, without further ado, let us get into the achievement hunting. Welcome to the perfect game grind episode, Arkham Knight. I started this run by going for all of the achievements in the Arkham episodes. Now if you don't know what the Arkham episodes are, they are just these small DLCs where you get to play as other characters, and it's like a 30 minute story gameplay, essentially. So here's a quick montage of me getting all the achievements for the Arkham episodes. Here we go. Oh, we got an achievement. Here, Jesus Christ, it took forever. Alright. Under the red hood. Oh, ambush. Achievement. Oh. The laughing fish. Oh, new achievement. It's not gonna work a third time if it doesn't work the other two times. Hey, new achievement. Nice. There we go. There we go. What the fuck did they do? They did nothing. Much oh, there we go. Maybe we should Another get achievement done. Let's get this sack of crap back to GCPD. We're not getting to that. Oh, there we go. We? Another achievement. After I completed all of the Arkham episodes, I had to move on to getting 21 stars as all the other playable characters aside from Batman. And the combat AR challenges had some of their own achievements, which is pretty much the toughest achievements in the game, which are these ones right here. I decided to only go for combat challenges because I needed to practice at the same time as I was collecting stars. Which leads us to our first kind of hard achievement called Chill in the Air, which is an achievement you get for completing Crime Alley AR challenge unarmed as Batman, Robin, and Nightwing. And I'm calling it kind of hard here because there's a bunch of achievements that are way tougher. I mean, for example, in this one, you don't need to have a perfect combo and a perfect free flow. You only have to make sure to not get hit. Unlike the other achievements that are coming up, not only do you have to stay alive and not get hit, you also have to keep a perfect free flow. And what I mean by that is you have to keep a combo going from start to finish. If I lose my combo, that's it. I have to reset from the start. I started this off playing as Batman, and it only took me a few tries until I eventually beat it, because Batman is just the easiest character to play as. Oh, let's go. Let's go. However, playing this as Robin was a total nightmare, because I don't know why, but I just kept on failing constantly and constantly until I eventually beat it, but that was after an entire hour of trying. And then finally we had Nightwing, which took me a few tries, but not nearly as many tries as Robin. Let's go. This is it. This is it. This is it. This is the end. This has to be the end. Give me the achievement, please. Let's fucking go. Oh, it's over. Oh my god. And after doing a few more challenges, I got the first 21 stars achievement for Asriel. All the other rounds, very easy. Simulation complete. <gasps> oh shit, I got the first achievement there. And we had moved on to one of the other achievements that are considered being one of the hardest achievements in the game, aka the Curtain Falls achievement. But honestly, since I've only done combat challenges for the past couple of days, this entire achievement itself was not really that hard for me. It did not take me more than a couple of tries with all the characters. So yet again, I'm just going to do a quick montage of my reactions to finally beating these stages. Sweet land of liberty. Let's fucking go. Easy, easy. <sighs> Let's go. See, it wasn't that hard. It was not that hard. I just had a few fuck-ups, but that was it. 
Okay, yes. See? Went pretty quickly. Oh, no, we did. Look at that. Oh my god, we did it. We did it. We got the, we got the achievement, baby. Perfect free flow on all four characters. There it is. The curtain falls. God damn. Then I quickly got the last achievements of getting 21 stars as Nightwing, Harley Quinn, Batgirl, and Red Hood. Now this, however, is the hardest achievement in the game by far. This is a Requiem for a Killer achievement, which you get by getting 1,050,000 points in the Iceberg Lounge AR challenge. Because when you reach 1,050,000 points, you get to face Killer Croc and defeat him. But the issue was that this took me more than 3 hours to beat. And the closest I got was 800k points. Oh my god, I was so close. I was so fucking close. I was so close. I'm done, yeah, I'm done. That, that was the last straw. That was the last straw. But right before I was about to end the stream, I decided to look up some videos and see if there's any possible solution for this very, very tough challenge. And what I found was a method of using nothing else but the back claw throughout the entire challenge. So I decided to test it out, and I actually got the Killer Croc on the first try. <laughs> so, I'm sorry that it's not really a legitimate and fair way of beating the challenge, but I had spent three hours trying to beat it legitimately and I don't know it just I was at my limit and I just could not do it anymore so I'm sorry but it's just what I had to do anyways I took out the final goons and then I was ready to fight killer croc once and for all you know it kind of feels sad that I should have just done this from the fucking start and I could have just gone the other achievements uh at the same stream but I'm, I'm gonna have to leave the stream uh, after this, like, genuinely. I'm so fucking exhausted from trying to beat this legitimately. Oh, there it is. Oh, there it is. Oh, I don't care, dude. Fucking kill me, kill me, do whatever you want with me. I do not care. Beat me to a pulp. Now, getting all of these combat achievements took me multiple days, so I moved on to getting some more relaxing and simple achievements that I had missed out on the story mode. And those achievements are Dirty Tricks, Run Through the Jungle, Point of Impact, A Leap of Faith, and Brutality 101. So let's just quickly get them in that order. What's up? There it is, there it is. <laughs> there we go. That's one, that's two, three, four, five. Yeah, nice. Yes, finally. Oh, let's go. That's the one, baby. Now on to a part that I was really not looking forward to. There are a total of five achievements that you get in the racing AR challenges. That is getting between 21 and 33 stars using five different vehicles. Now, it's not hard. That's not the issue. But the issue is it's so boring and tedious that... I don't even want to talk anymore about it. Let's just get to the parts where I get these stupid achievements already. Hey, let's go. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Anyways, there we go. That's the other one. Okay, super easy. Yep. No problem. Oh, wait, what? I already got it? Oh, shit. Oh, well then. Well, to just get three stars on the other ones. I have not been able to count, apparently. <laughs> Super easy. And that's the next one. Huh? <gasps> oh, 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 oh my god, that was close. And that's the it. That's it. Oh man, we're getting so close now, guys. So after I had finally finished the racing achievements, we progressed to the stealth AR achievements. And there were three of them in total, all of them being shown on screen right now. So let's jump into another montage yet again. And there it is, what the butler saw.
play with fire, Batman. An achievement. Oh, let's go. Yes, yes, yes. Finally. Now, this one achievement, Secrets of the Back Cave, might have been the most insufferable achievement of all time. Look, I did not have an issue playing this as Batman, but when I played it as Nightwing, oh my goodness, I was losing my mind. Because I, not only did I have to play this for over an hour, but every time I was so close to beating it, I just lost in the most unbelievably stupid and unfair ways possible. I'm just going to show you three clips right here. You guys can just see for yourselves just how stupid this was. No. Oh my god. Oh my god, there's no way. Here. Fuck me, that was close. Holy fuck, that was close. Alright, enough rage, let's win this already. And now we're actually returning to some achievements that I had apparently missed. I apparently missed two achievements on the Batgirl Arkham episode, so we're just gonna go back and do those right now. God damn, long lasting. And we got the achievement. I knew that was one of those missing ones. Please be enough. God damn it. Yes! Yes! Let's go. Now we only had two more achievements remaining, folks. We had Blunt Trauma and the Long Halloween. So let's just go for the Blunt Trauma first and finish it off with the Long Halloween. Here we go. That was the last one. I knew it. Let's go, baby. Oh, that's all the achievements done except for the last one, which I can easily get now. And easy it was. After spending two days of replaying the entire story once again, we were finally ready to witness have an Arkham Knight be a perfect game in our collection. So let's just watch this beautiful moment and enjoy this ending. Moment of truth, everyone. Are we finally going to complete this achievement grind? I just, I pray that I don't have to do the other missions. Come on, baby. Come on, please. I'm so, please, 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 please. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> It is indeed over, Alfred. It is indeed over.
So once again, if you got to this part of the video, thank you so, so, so much for watching. I'm technically back now. I've been very, very busy this start of the year. Um, technically, I'm still a bit busy with real life stuff. So I will take back my statement of my previous video and say I will stream every single day. I probably won't be able to, at least not for these two upcoming weeks. However, I will definitely be more frequent and I will be posting more often. You know, that also depends on what kind of game I will play next, you know, they all take different amount of times depending on what game it is. But what I'm saying is, I'm gonna be way more active now, so, just a friendly reminder to you all, everything from this video has been streamed or was streamed on my Twitch channel live, so please, if you haven't already, check that channel out because I will be doing every single game grind live from there. And also, just one last thing I'll say before this outro is more than five minutes long. Uh, I'm gonna, at some point, make a Discord in the future. Not really as a community Discord, but as a Discord where people can join in to help me out in some games. For example, multiplayer games like Left 4 Dead 2 or Castle Crashers. Like, a bunch of those games, for example. I might need help with that in the future, so... If you're down to help me out, maybe jump on the Discord server whenever I make it. So, um, thank you one last time for watching the video, and just have a jolly old time, why don't you? <laughs> Alright, take care everybody. Also, here's to completion in case you wanted to see that, alright, bye! No little fool, you never can win Use your mentality Wake up to reality